I think I have a rather unusual or unorthodox history, and it's created uh, the role that I have at the University of Michigan as a professor. Uh, I actually uh, went from the University of Wisconsin and, uh, and turned down a position at Princeton to go work for a man with an $11 million pizza company. And uh, five years later, and $5 billion later, it was Domino's Pizza. I was one of the executive team members that built the company. And I spent some time on some advisory boards at Apple and Nokia, and I spent a lot of time in my, in my very young age talk, working with, uh, very deeply working with, and, and being a senior executive at these companies that grew really fast. And in 1989, Bob Quinn came to see me. And he said, would you like to teach MBAs at Michigan? And I laughed and said, no, they're dull, drab, and awful. You can hear them think. I spent my whole career going around MBAs. And he said, no, I think it's, we need to do something different. There's going to be some new things on the horizon. Well, at the time, there really wasn't a lot of people teaching uh, innovation and creativity in business schools. There was Michael Ray at Stanford, basically. And that was the, sort of the only other show in town. So I started teaching this course that became kind of a cult classic course. And we had a lot, of a lot of people who came through the course. It was very hands-on, and we did everything from meeting the last Stradivarius expert to learning how to clear our mind from the first Jane Monk who came to the United States. And it seemed very contrary to people and very unusual until people like Larry Page, the founder of Google, uh, did pretty well in life. And all of a sudden, people started to reevaluate whether this was, this was a kind of a nutty course or whether this was somebody who had actually built some businesses and knew something. So over time, because uh, I am the professor of the practice at Michigan, which means my job is methodologies. My job is how, do, how in fact, does this really work? And so my, course, my courses are not just courses where you do things in cases. You actually have to go build stuff. You have to actually see one, do one, teach one. And so what was interesting was over, over the years, this thing took off. And I went from being the, the unusual point of view to more and more the, the kind of view that Michigan became famous for, which is uh, from theory to practice, translating things from theoretical things to actually being able to build things. Well, as time went on, it occurred to me that the real opportunities to learn was to do a lot of work with businesses. And so we built a consulting practice with a bunch of professors. We engaged a lot of the business students and said, let's go work at, uh, at uh, General Electric or Pfizer or a lot of you know, Toyota. Let's figure out how to, do this, how, to, how to make innovation happen and connect a lot of dots at a large scale. And that, uh, that took off. And much to our surprise, you know, because we, our original thought was, being professors, well, we'd like to keep this kind of uh, more intimate, if you will. Well, the final piece was we tried to say, well, how do we bring this all home? Like, like what's going on here in Bethlehem. You know, Ann Arbor is this place where there's an amazing growth. There's, you know, there's almost $5 billion worth of construction in this little town. 40% of the household, somebody has a PhD, but it's in the middle of Michigan. And Michigan's economy is evaporating very quickly. And we said, how are we going to bring what we do in the world home? And so what we did was we went to the Hayworth Company, who is one of the great furniture design companies and industrial space design companies in the world, their largest vendor, a company called ISCG, and we said, let's build a space across the street from the university, a real nice space. Let's give the key professors and students keys. And let's say, make yourself at home and let's bring these projects in. And let's learn what works and what doesn't work. Let's apprentice some young people. And let's actually bring the resource base, much like what you're doing here with Ben Franklin. Let's bring the resource base together and demonstrate that we know how to do this. We call it proof of concept. So what's been remarkable for me is and how I feel very blessed and very grateful that these various parts, these various aspects of my life over the years, being an entrepreneur, being a, you know, being a thought leader or a, or a writer, and, uh, and being a teacher, have all come together in, in, this, one, uh, in this one package. And uh, boy, it's been a great ride, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about the next 10 years. So, so uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll contribute to the innovation gene pool.